One of the most important aspects of PIDP 3240 is we are hoping that we can help you to continually look at technology and the advancements in technology and use new technology to enhance the learning environment. And in order to do so, you need to be able to continually evaluate these new, wonderful, amazing tools and see how they can be used in your learning environment. So most of the activities, I'd say all the activities in this course, are focused on that aspect of helping you to evaluate a variety of different technology tools, share those ideas with others, and learn about uh, new forms of technology that you can use. I want to bring your attention to the course outcomes that are in the course schedule outcomes section. There's two outcomes in particular that are going to be extremely important to your presentation uh, assignments. The first one is select, create, and use appropriate learning technologies to support learning in a variety of delivery formats, and then providing rationale for the selection of those learning technologies. These two outcomes are realized in assignments one and assignment three where you will look at a piece of technology whether it is YouTube or a learning management system or a slide tool a variety of different things and then you evaluate the use of that technology in a learning environment and provide a context based on a 4e framework that we provided for you you need to use this 4E framework as a measuring stick in, in a way that you can then evaluate this particular tool. With everyone in the course or in the program using the same evaluation tool, we can then share our evaluations and have a same standard and be able to learn from each other. When you take a look at the assignment instructions for assignment one, your live Zoom presentation, you'll see that we talk about a 4E framework that you need to use. And those four E's are excite, educate, engage, and evaluate. And we ask you when you're presenting or creating your presentation that you look at how does this tool excite, excite the learner? How can this tool be used to educate the learner? How engaging is this tool? Um, does it allow for active participation? How useful is this tool from an evaluative perspective? We ask you then to create a report card and assign a grade uh, for each of these components. We also ask you to take a look at additional research to support engagement or excitement or education or even evaluation. How useful is this tool? And is there additional evidence to support this justification. So we are asking you to provide a little bit of research support to justify how you are evaluating those tools. Giving every tool an A plus in Excite, Educate, Engage, and Evaluate is really not an effective way to evaluate a tool. We're encouraging you to support your evaluation of these tools based on some additional research support. Assigning top grades or horrible grades across the board will raise questions about how effectively you are evaluating this particular tool. Please note, we are asking you to use at least three additional references during your presentation to support the decisions you've made on that evaluation. Remember to cite your references and also add them to your reference page at the end of your slides. Now, this report card is something that you're going to have to use in Assignment 1 and in Assignment 3, which is your second presentation. You will also need to refer to the four E's in your um, reflections and evaluation of other uh, students' uh, presentations. So keep that in mind. I must reiterate, both of your presentation assignments, Assignment 1 and Assignment 3, the focus is not to demonstrate or to try to teach the tool or the, the media that you are you, you are focusing on, the focus must be the evaluation of that media tool in the learning context. That is the important focus. So keep that in mind. The four E's are the way that you are going to measure that tool. A report card is the way that you're going to show that evaluation. And then you need to justify why you've assigned the grades that you've had by looking to additional research. Straight A's across the board or A plus across the board really does not justify uh, an effective evaluation strategy. There are good points and bad points in every media tool. We're asking you to be honest about that and justify your 
grades and then share those grades so that others can take a look at a tool and when they're looking at your presentation or engaging in your presentation they can also learn from what you are sharing with them with everybody using the four e's as a measurement tool we're all using the same strategy you'll be able to learn much more from your colleagues than you will if, if we use different tools so you have to use the four e's where did the four e's come from let me share that with you you will find a link to the 4E framework in the presentation best practices section. And that link will take you to the 4E framework page here or this website. And a 4E framework is simply a list of ideas or concepts like engage, like educate, like excite, like evaluate these four terms that we can use to create a shorthand or a heuristic that allows us to evaluate something based on these four key concepts. It's a way to simplify and to standardize an evaluation process. And if you take a look at this article, you'll see that this basic idea of using three or four basic key ideas to provide that evaluative standard is a common practice in many different disciplines, whether it is in the health sciences and engineering and science, in media, marketing, variety of things. You'll see a variety of different examples. So this is where we've got the idea of the 4E framework, and we are using our own unique 4E framework. So you will need to cite where you got this idea from. So you can cite this particular video, or you can also point back to the assignment page where we introduced you to those four E's. So remember to use the four E's as a context for your presentation, create a report card, justify the grades that you have, and also remember to take a look at things like presentation best practices. Don't read off of your slide. Don't use a lot of text on your slide. Look at some of the recommendations that we, we've made. Look at Mayer's 12 Principles of Multimedia. There's a variety of different principles we're asking you to apply. And you're also going to be evaluating your presentation, other people's presentations based on these principles. So look at these key ideas and ensure that you have addressed them in an effective way. And then finally, the last repetition I'll make is cite your sources on the particular slide or page where you're at, add them to a list of references in your final slide, and you will be in good shape.